Intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI, is an assisted fertilization procedure whereby a single sperm is selected and injected directly into an egg in vitro. There is wide variability in the indications for ICSI. Many recommend its use when a semen sample contains less than 4% normal sperm, according to the World Health Organization 2010 criteria. ICSI, originally performed in the early 90s, is one of the most important innovations in the history of in vitro fertilization. Since the advent of ICSI, worldwide fertilization and resultant pregnancy rates have improved dramatically for male factor infertility. Previous studies have demonstrated that abnormal semen profiles are associated with a modest increase in the frequency of sperm chromosomal abnormalities. Similarly, others have shown that morphologically abnormal spermatozoa, specifically sperm with aberrations in the shape and contours of the head, may be carriers of chromatinic defects. Numerous researchers have proposed enhanced video-generated magnification to avoid selecting an abnormal sperm for injection. However, these techniques may be unreliable due to the clarity of the image and the time required for the analysis. Furthermore, there are inconsistent data supporting their routine use. While the aforementioned techniques have great potential for influencing clinical outcomes, none of them take into account the fact that spermatozoa have three-dimensional structures with pronounced asymmetry. Traditional microscopy only gives information about a single geometric plane of the cell, potentially ignoring unique facets and surfaces. To address this concern, previous researchers have created a parametric model that provides important geometrical parameters describing the 3D shape of the cell surface using 3D reconstruction of horizontal cross-sections acquired by a confocal microscope. Given the possibilities suggested by this intriguing literature, we sought to create the first non-invasive three-dimensional morphological assessment of live motile spermatozoa. Previous models are clinically limited by either the amount of time required for the high magnification analysis or because they require fixing and staining the sperm. With this experimental design, we aim to create an inexpensive, efficient, and reproducible real-time analysis of viable spermatozoa to understand the three-dimensional profile of this mysterious gamete. This technique is not commercially available. Because non-capacitated sperm generally swim in a rotational helical pattern, the majority, if not all of the geometric faces can be visualized in a 10 second period, allowing for computational analysis. However, the quality of the images can be affected by functional structural defects, medium viscosity, and imaging vessel characteristics, since these attributes can influence the pattern of sperm movement. In our experimental laboratory setup, we used a standard upright commercial microscope and digital camera suited to cell microscopy. An aliquot of semen sample was placed on a slide preloaded with PVP to slow down the forward progression of sperm. Individual motile sperm were identified and analyzed at 600 times magnification and a 10 second digital video was obtained. Using the recorded videos, we employed a technique called Multiple Instance Learning Tracking, or MILTRAC, which allowed us to select a spermatozoan and track it automatically throughout the video. This software technique, which is not yet commercially available, adapts to changes in the appearance of the object while tracking it. Since spermatozoa swim in a corkscrew or helical pattern, we are able to see the entire sperm surface after tracking the sperm for just a few seconds. While the spermatozoa were being tracked, cropped, and aligned, images were automatically extracted from each video frame using enhanced correlation coefficient maximization. This digital technique assesses and enhances the similarity between each image while remaining loyal to its reference image which for this experiment was the image from the first frame of video. We then selected a sequence of images that showed the spermatozoa undergoing a single continuous period of axial rotation. Each image in the sequence showed us a unique view of the spermatozoan from various planes. 
This gave us enough information to capture the three-dimensional structure of the sperm. Using computer vision techniques, we were able to extract the general shape of the spermatozoan in each image. We then scanned through a grid of points in a three-dimensional volume, and for each point, we checked if it was contained inside or outside the shape of the spermatozoan in every image. We were able to trim away, or space carve, the volume and space corresponding to the spermatozoan. This yielded a series of small cubes, or voxels, that were representative of the spermatozoan. By means of this space carving technique, we were able to build a 3D model of the sperm that can be rotated to permit viewing from any direction. While a lot of rough information can be inferred from this representation, the voxelized version of the spermatozoa does not offer significant surface detail. To address this issue, we employed the marching cubes algorithm to render the spermatozoan. In contrast to the raw voxel representation, the marching cubes algorithm is able to render smooth surfaces through interpolation. Here we can appreciate that the spermatozoan does in fact have unique features on each of its surfaces, and it is easy to appreciate how this information would be missed in the aforementioned bidimensional analyses. In this proof of principle project, we have created the first non-invasive, three-dimensional, real-time in vitro assessment of sperm surface morphology. This technique can not only be automated, it requires minimal computing power, and it utilizes equipment that is already in most standard embryology laboratories. Future applications of this experimental technique include using 3D sperm surface reconstruction to select sperm for ICSI for both ejaculated and surgically retrieved spermatozoa, and as a new adjunct to the standard semen analysis. We hope that this technique will be commercially available in the future. If this technology were to be used in clinical practice, individual sperm would have to be picked up with a micro-manipulator, isolated into separate marked drops of PVP, and a 10-second video would have to be created, which would allow the operator to identify and select the preferred spermatozoan for ultimate injection.